John Saxon was a well-known actor who could play different roles in movies and TV shows. He was good at acting in various types of stories like westerns and scary movies. People might recognize him from famous films such as Enter the Dragon and A Nightmare on Elm Street. But there are also interesting stories about his career that not many people know. What made him special was his talent for making his characters feel real and important, which made people remember him. Do you have a favorite memory or experience related to this actor? Share it below. Keep watching for more interesting facts about his life and work. John Saxon, a prominent figure in the film industry, left a lasting impression on Hollywood during his time and beyond. He influenced the industry through his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft. His work both on and off the screen showcased his versatility and commitment. During his era, his performances grabbed the audience's attention and earned praise from critics. His ability to play various roles showed how skilled he was as an actor. He brought depth and authenticity to the characters he portrayed, making them memorable for viewers worldwide. Moreover, he was highly respected by his colleagues and admired by aspiring actors for his professionalism and hard work. His dedication to his work set a high standard for excellence in the industry, motivating future generations of actors. Aside from acting, he also played significant roles behind the scenes. He was involved in different parts of filmmaking, such as producing and directing, demonstrating his diverse talents and deep understanding of the industry. Overall, his influence on the film industry is undeniable. His talent, versatility, and commitment continue to inspire filmmakers and actors today ensuring that he remains a significant figure in Hollywood history. In the movie Enter the Dragon, John Saxon played a significant role alongside Bruce Lee and Jim Kelly. Marlene Clark, who portrayed Saxon's secretary in the film, reminisced in 1998 about her experience, mentioning that she still receives occasional small payments for her part even after 25 years since the movie's release. These payments, typically around $2 each, arrive four or five times a year a reminder of their work on screen. By 2020, the trio of main actors from Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee, Jim Kelly, and John Saxon had all passed away, leaving behind a memorable movie. During the tough filming of Enter the Dragon, the crew dedicated eight consecutive days to shooting intense fight scenes. Saxon, like his co-stars, undoubtedly felt the strain of such demanding work. Reflecting on the experience, he expressed his exhaustion, stating, after those eight days, I had enough of doing a karate movie. Despite the challenges faced during filming, Enter the Dragon remains a beloved classic, loved by fans of martial arts cinema everywhere. Its ongoing popularity ensures that the actor's roles are never forgotten. John Saxon played Blake Richards in the movie Portrait in Black with Sandra Dee. It was their third and final movie together. Years later, they acted together again, but this time on stage for the play Love Letters. He liked taking on different kinds of roles. For example, he was in four movies with Blood in the title Blood Beast from Outer Space, Queen of Blood, Blood Beach, and Blood Salvage. These roles showed how versatile he was and how he could play all sorts of characters, especially in scary or thrilling movies. Besides acting, he also helped young actors like Heather Langenkamp to get better at acting. He was like a teacher and a friend to them, giving advice and support. In short, John Saxon wasn't just known for acting. His work with Sandra Dee, his choice of roles, and his help to other actors all show how much he influenced Hollywood. John Saxon went through tough times with money and personal problems, even though he was successful in acting. Sometimes he didn't have much work, which made it hard to pay his bills. He also had tough times in his personal life, which made things even harder. But he didn't give up. He kept taking different acting jobs to get by. He stayed strong and didn't let the hard times stop him from doing what he loved. Even though there were lots of ups and downs in his career, he never stopped loving acting. He kept chasing his dreams no matter what. His story inspires lots of people who want to be actors, showing how important it is to keep going when things get tough. Even though he's gone now, his memorable performances on screen show how talented and determined he was. This story, which talks about the struggles and successes of a Hollywood star, reminds us all that people can overcome anything to achieve their goals. John Saxon, known for his role as Roper in Enter the Dragon, left a mark on the set beyond his performance. Marlene Clark, who played his secretary, brought her own stylish red hat, which ended up being featured in the film. She proudly recalls how everyone encouraged her to wear it during filming. 
Interestingly, Saxon's casting was influenced by his expertise in karate, holding a black belt. In another notable role as FBI agent Stanley Chase in From Dusk Till Dawn, he shared the screen with Kelly Preston, who portrayed a news reporter. Tragically, both Preston and Saxon passed away within two weeks of each other in 2020. Their coinciding deaths marked a somber moment for the film industry. In New Nightmare, the actor, recognized for his role as John Saxon, displayed a memorable consistency in his clothing choices. Towards the end of the movie, both Heather Langenkamp and he wore outfits reminiscent of those seen in their earlier collaboration on A Nightmare on Elm Street. In Moonshine County Express, he portrayed the character J.B. Johnson. Notably, this movie featured Morgan Woodward and Jeff Corey, who later worked together again in Battle Beyond the Stars. Following his passing, he chose cremation, with his ashes then returned to his family. In summary, he made an impact through his roles in films like New Nightmare and Moonshine County Express, with a subtle nod to his previous work in the horror classic. In his final moments, he opted for cremation, leaving his ashes with his family. John Saxon, recognized for his role as Consul Tarrant in The Fantastic Journey, appeared alongside notable actors such as Gary Collins, Mary Ann Mobley, Joan Collins, and Christina Hart. His journey into the entertainment world began unexpectedly when he caught the eye of a male model agent while leaving a local movie house one day, he decided to skip class. This chance encounter propelled him into the world of modeling, where he appeared on the covers of magazines like True Romances, captivating audiences with his striking presence. Moving from modeling to acting, he started a Hollywood career that would leave a lasting impact on the industry. His performances showcased his versatility and talent, earning him acclaim and recognition among audiences and peers alike. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Saxon's story also includes his final resting place at Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle. Here, amidst the serene surroundings, his ashes find solace alongside other luminaries of the silver screen, including Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee. In life and in death, his influence continues to be felt within the realms of film and beyond, leaving a lasting impression that transcends time. This is the tale of a man whose journey from a chance encounter to Hollywood stardom is recorded in the annals of cinematic history. John Saxon, known for his roles in various films, had a notable collaboration with Sandra Dee, sharing the screen in three movies, The Restless Years, The Reluctant Debutante, and Portrait in Black. In addition to their film work, they teamed up again in 1991 for the play Love Letters, his work in cinema was further recognized with three films he appeared in being selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. These films are A Star is Born, Enter the Dragon, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. In the latter, he portrayed himself, and an interesting detail is that a picture of Heather Langenkamp, who starred in the movie, can be spotted on a shelf in Wes Craven's house. His career spanned various genres and mediums, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. He continues to be remembered for his significant roles and contributions to film and theater.